like to take a few moments and introduce you to the harmonic mechanism for the mind number four. This one's going to cover ninths. As with all these other in the series, we're going to be in the key of no sharps and no flats as kind of a, a base ground to get familiar with and orient ourselves to the fingerboard. So what we're going to start with is the lowest note on the instrument, E. We're going to come up a minor ninth, skipping over a string. So we've gone from the sixth string to the fourth string, third fret. And we want to find a way to damp that low E. I'm using the pad of my middle finger on the sixth string, but you could also use the palm of your picking hand. Now G, we're going to again skip over a string and go to string two, eighth fret. G, eighth fret, second string. And if you have a cutaway and can reach it, or if you feel adventurous, this then is the 17th fret, A. So we've had three consecutive pitches, each going up a ninth. E goes to F, F goes to G, G goes to A. And then we're going to carry on alphabetically at least. So this A, we're going to have B, 6th string, 7th fret, C, 10th fret of the 4th string, and we need D. So we're going to get it here on the 2nd string, 15th fret. So that last part, B, C, D, 7, 10, 15, and we can come back. D, C, B, A, G, F, E. grounding ourselves in our knowledge of the fingerboard, having to locate some pretty wide intervals. You could also do these on consecutive strings, two and two, so open E, fifth string, eighth fret, twelfth fret of the third string, and again, seventeenth fret of the first string. So you can change the positions of those, the F and the G there. B, C, D, and I guess you could have that as well. Second fret of the fifth string, B. Fifth fret of the third string, C. And then we need D up here, tenth fret of the first string. So I hope this finds you well and enjoying your music. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you have questions, comments, please do let me know. And I wish you, as always, a very, very good day.